If I asked you what electronics is, you could probably give me a good explanation. But if I ask you about photonics, you might not be quite as confident with your answer. Well, today we're celebrating a day of photonics. So I thought I'd give you a bit more of an insight into what photonics actually is and how we use it. So photonics includes all technologies that create light, modify light or use light in some way. If you look at the screen on your mobile phone, it's a photonics device, just like television screens, cameras and projectors. Now the internet utilises photonics to transfer high speed data using optical fibres and this enables us to share and save our data and we use a lot of data. It's estimated that a quarter of the world's population use Facebook uploading around 350 million photos a day and that's only one social media platform. All this is possible because of photonics. But what else do we use photonics for? Well, Think of photovoltaic cells. We use them to turn light into electricity and the solar panels that we manufacture power our homes and businesses and cars. Our industries use photonics for other things. They use technologies to measure temperatures and pressures. They use high power lasers to mark, cut and weld metals and 3D printers to manufacture components. We control processes using cameras for machine vision and inspection and we use photonics in the medical field, in microscopes and endoscopes, and applications like laser eye surgery. So in the UK, photonics is a 14.5 billion pound industry, employing over 76,700 people. And it's now the fifth most productive manufacturing sector in the UK. So photonics is embedded in all our lives. The technology really is all around us. See if you can spot how many photonics devices you use today.